Hey guys, Darren here. Welcome to Mayhem Country Living. Beautiful sunny day. What are we doing? We are putting some plugs in a couple of tires because we have screws in two tires. Now, that happens around here on the property and especially with all the stuff that we're having done. Uh, people coming in doing work, especially like uh, just around the property. Uh, somebody drops a screw or something like that. But just the way it is uh, around the home, it could be on your car, your truck, your ATV, your riding mower, or your zero turn. Same process and everything. It's not hard to do. What we do is we're going to find the offending party. There's a screw right there. Uh, we're going to pull it out. This is a kit that I have accumulated over years. And uh, you can buy them already assembled, but mine is a little more involved. And I have had this over the years, and I have a duplicate in every vehicle we have, uh, and a small one in the ATV. And uh, I used to keep one in the garage uh, at the old property for the ride mowers and the toys and stuff like that. But it's not hard to do. What you do is you take... these plugs which are basically tar impregnated rope and you will force it into the hole and then you will trim it off check it for leaks and air it back up now that's oversimplified what we'll do also is we'll put a little bit of rubber cement on there to hold everything in place and to make sure we have a really good seal and uh, we're going to actually make the hole larger we're going to expand it with kind of a rasp and this works really good because we want it large enough to force the plug in we want to have a little bit of a struggle but not a lot now a lot of times you will see these these are okay but you really don't get as much force and I guess if you were just using to insert twist and pull it out I guess that would be okay I prefer these T handles because you can just get more leverage with it and you can see these guys have been used a lot over the years but what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull this thing out get it ready and uh, plug it and then we're going to do the next tire. More to come. Okay, guys, now we're back and we're getting ready. I have the plug all set. I've got the adhesive on it, the rubber cement. Got it sitting there in the sun, just warming up, and everything's getting nice and soft. I'll put more on it right before we punch uh, it into it. I've gotten the hole, or I've gotten the screw exposed and it's almost ready to pull out don't pull it out until you're absolutely ready to put it in and that way you won't have to air up a whole lot more than uh than you're going to anyway here's a pro tip take the floor mats out put them on the ground and that will save your knees in my kit i also have knee pads just in case um and you can also use these for traction uh in uh, snow ice or mud but there it is right here and we're going to pull it out and then i'm going to have to set you down don't lose this because you might end up having to plug it twice there we go now we're going to ream it And the reason I keep the rubber hammer is, let's see, I don't know if you can quite see it. Maybe you can. I keep the rubber mallet in the kit is for that. And I mean to tell you, I have done a lot of tires. And no, I've never worked at a tire store. This is just out of necessity being poor and broke for years now I'm gonna get this thing ready 
see if you can see it. Yeah, I think you can. Let me get this guy one more time with adhesive. Now, you could, in theory, if you had to, you could cut this plug. It's about four inches long. You could cut it in half and use it. But I have never cared that much. Plugs are cheap. Now, the tricky part is pulling it out. Sometimes you end up bringing the plug back out. We're going to try to avoid that. There we go. Now, I'm going to put a little bit more adhesive all the way around. And this is one way, a lazy way also, of checking for leaks. I don't see any bubbles. Kicking the butt is with this right here. I'm gonna hold this where you can see it for sure. You can't leave these out. You really can't. I guess you could in an emergency, but what it does, as you ride down the road, this is going to hit the surface of the road and pull it slightly. Pull it slightly, pull it slightly. With every revolution of the tire, it will work itself out. That is what was in it. That is a roofing screw. So now we're going to trim it with our box blade. Some people call this a hawk bill. We're going to trim it off. And you can see how some people say you could, in theory, cut that plug in half. But I just wouldn't do that. And it is kind of hard to do it with one hand. So I'm going to pause you. More to come. Okay, guys, now we're back. You can see it's not that hard to do. And the last thing that you really should have with your plug kit would be a tire inflator. It can either be a canister or a cartridge or one that just runs 12 volts off of your uh, your car's electric. Either way, it's just fantastic to have. Don't forget, if you have a big truck, you need one that will inflate a big tire. And those cost bigger money. Um, I've got AAA. I've had AAA. I've got insurance on the car and the tires so it's kind of like double covered why would you do this well this way you're not stuck on the side of the road and somebody could come along and whack you in the head like little bunny foo foo you know it's a good skill to have it's a good skill to know i would say as part of your home preparedness or your traveling preparedness you need to have one of these in your vehicle buy the extra adhesive you buy the extra plugs put them all in one pack just like that and you're ready to go it's a good skill to have like I said your sons and your daughters they should not be able to drive until they can change a tire or plug a tire too it's just my thoughts anyway all right guys we're going to wrap everything up in just a second you're gonna see a picture of my ugly mug and my beautiful wife on the opposite side of me some videos we are indeed your brand of wacky take care of your people guys